What's up, bros? Today I have a video for Manhattan Portage and I'm really excited about it because they basically sent me the dopest travel bags ever freaking made. As you can clearly see, I have a different backdrop behind me. I have this beautiful, luscious green plant wall from Estate. For those of you individuals that may not know, if you do not watch the vlogs or follow me on Instagram, I recently started working at Estate, which is a clothing boutique in downtown Seattle. And it's really dope working here. So if you guys are ever in the area on Saturday or Sunday, come say what's up. I'm almost always at work on those days. If you want to see some really dope pictures of the plant wall, go check me out on Instagram, which is at the Starlight. That'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. It's really dope how I piece them all together. And if you guys look how they blend together when you look at it in grid view, it looks really dope. As I've been telling you guys, my Instagram feed is the dopest in the game. It is dope as fuck. I don't care if you only follow one person and it is between me and your mother. You should unfollow your mom and follow me because my Instagram feed is way cooler than hers. Anyways, today's video is for Manhattan Portage. I'm really excited to show you guys this stuff because as you guys know, I love Manhattan Portage. I put on for them heavy in the past. I have a bunch of their products and I just love everything they create. Everything I've gotten from them is super quality. It's all held up and I haven't had an issue with any piece they've sent me. Now, that being said, I have two pieces to show off today. It's from their Dark Camo collection. The first piece is this beautiful Dark Camo backpack. A little pack pack. Anyway, it's really, really dope. It's very clean, very simple. As you can see, you have this front pocket right here, another front pocket right here, and then your main compartment right here. As you can see, this bag has a really thick laptop sleeve just in case you fall and uh, break any bones or harm yourself in any way. You have a bunch of padding on the back and this backpack is made from like a really lightweight nylon or canvas. So it's super light, it feels super good and just overall, it's a really nice backpack to have. Also on the side right here, you have netting so you can store your water or a tea. Now like I said, they sent me two bags and the other bag they sent me is a travel necessity which is this really dope dark camo duffel bag. This is a really decently sized duffel bag so you can store a ton of goods in here. You have this little elastic thing where you can store, I don't know, bottles or any necessities. You can store a human arm in here quite well as you can see. Both of these sides actually unzip and these pockets connect in the middle. So I'm actually shaking my own hand right now. This actually has a button enclosure instead of Velcro which I like because I feel like Velcro wears more over time. You have a side pocket right here and a side pocket right here. You have another little side pocket right here and then on the other side of this on the inside you have two more little pockets, little zipper pockets where you can store stuff like food or drugs, whichever. You have two so you can use one for food, one for drugs. And then tons of space in this compartment. I'm telling you guys there is a ton of space in here. These shoes that I have in here are big ass shoes. They're high tops from Gotti Wear. This is a big ass shoe box and it stores it perfectly. See, so I'm that annoying guy on a plane that brings two carry-ons and a camera bag. So that means I'm putting one carry-on in the upper compartment, I'm putting one carry-on at my feet so that way neither of us have any leg room because those things are cramped as fuck and I have my camera bag on top of that. But thankfully to Manhattan Portage, I will no longer be doing that because I can't be bringing the third bag. I look like a fucking loser. I have these two bags that match. These are the only two bags I'm bringing with me when I'm traveling. So basically anyone who sits next to me can thank Manhattan Portage for having a better flight experience. And I also want to thank Manhattan Portage. You guys are killing it. I love everything you guys do. So thank you guys so much for the stuff. I really, really do appreciate it. And I love everything you guys create. Manhattan Portage always provides me with quality gear that I don't have to worry about failing. They always take care of me and I just love them as a company. So let me know what your guys' opinions on these bags are in the comments below and how they compare to other bags. You guys have seen me show off tons of their other bags in the past. If you haven't, go check out previous Manhattan Portage videos. Skrrr! Hold up. All right, guys. So basically, I did not do a lookbook for them. If you want to see a lookbook, definitely let me know by hitting that thumbs up below that like button. I'm thinking of doing a couple videos where I'll be showing off these bags because I plan on taking them when I go camping and I also plan on taking them whenever I travel. And me and Mr. Paul Cantu over there actually have a couple trips planned out. Anyways, I really wanted to stress to you guys to follow them on Instagram because they actually post some pictures that never make it to my Instagram and I know a lot of you guys like my photography. That's why a lot of you guys follow me on Instagram in the first place is because of my photography. Here's a couple pictures that have not been released yet on any platform that I've taken for them that I will be sending over to them shortly. I don't always get pictures for my Instagram whenever I'm out, but I do always get pictures of their product because I'm always out using their product. Literally the only bag I use now is Manhattan Portage. I don't use any other bags that I can think of. If you haven't noticed, their Instagram has already been on the screen and it will be in the description below as well. And while you are following people on Instagram, if you do not follow me on Instagram already for whatever reason, of course follow me on Instagram, which is at the Star Life. Now that will be on the screen and in the description below. Anyways guys, as always, keep living the Star Life. Blah! Mission for the land of mega honey, sort of funny how to see change. But new roads bring new scars. We duck and dodge it out of hoopla. Push it to the limit, go with too far. That's what it takes to live the star life with two R's. Now they telling me that life is alone.